on the air, you're looking at Charlotte's only live Doppler radar. This is the most accurate tool we have to track the rain moving through the area. Everyone is seeing it and you see the yellows, the reds, the oranges there. That is really heavy rain. This is going to be with us all day. And it's why we have team coverage this morning to make sure that you have everything you need to know before you head out of the door this morning. Meteorologist Tony Sadiku is in severe weather center nine. He is pinpointing when you will see the heaviest rainfall as well as the chance for severe weather. We also have multiple crews spread out across the area monitoring the spots where flooding is an issue and traffic team nine's Mark Taylor. He is using his tools and technology to help get you around the trouble spot and we're expecting many. Eyewitness News 430 starts right now. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Brittany Johnson. And I'm John Paul. Another look at the radar this morning. It is just a mess out there already. And our team's been warning you about this system all week long. We're going to keep you informed on this. We're also going to get you around the safety problems that we expect to see out there. Let's go ahead and get right on over to Severe Weather Center 9, where meteorologist Tony Sudoku has been tracking this rain. And where it's the heaviest right now, we can see the yellows and the reds there, Tony. Good morning, Brittany. John, absolutely going to be an active morning. Of course, we've been talking about it for many days, and already it's been raining since just before midnight. And here we go. Here's live early warning Doppler 9. You can see the showers moving on through. They're moving on through very quickly, but they are packing uh, quite a bit of moderate to heavy rain that will cause uh, some traffic issues out there. So here it is right now. We'll zoom on into Mecklenburg County where you can see moderate downpours right now. Let's put this eyedropper tool to show you the rain coming down easily about a half inch an hour. Keep in mind, some areas have already seen half inch, about a half inch of rain since this whole thing started yesterday. So it's going to continue to come down and continue to cause ponding on the roadways. Let's show you where it's moving. You can see the heaviest right now basically pushing on into Concord, the outside of the 45 loop. It's going to be moving into Salisbury, the Albemarle area, Norwood, up into Stanley County. We do kind of lighten things up a little bit on the back side, but we do have more showers to track as this is a big time system that's going to be with us all morning. In fact, all day long, it's already spawning flood warnings along the leading edge of it, and that's what could be causing not only the threat for flash flooding today, but also severe weather. We'll break all that down, but like Brittany and John mentioned, we have team coverage tracking the impacts this morning. Want to go right now to our Gina Esposito, who's live on South Boulevard. Good morning, Gina. Just in the past 15 minutes, we arrived at a crash here in South Charlotte. Take a look. Two cars involved here blocking the inbound lanes here. This is as you approach South Boulevard heading into uptown Charlotte. We're right near I-45. You can see the rain coming down pretty heavy right now. We're starting to see some flooding on the side of the road. We're checking on injuries with this crash. But I want to show you this crash that we responded to earlier in the past hour. This crash clear. This is a tractor trailer that jackknifed. Uh, crash into another car here, I-85 or Brookshire. Boulevard that was impacting traffic on Brookshire sometime this morning that has since cleared. Coming back out live here in South Charlotte, looking at traffic impacted on South Boulevard. Police are on scene. You will need to alternate route right now. So let's check in with Trap T9's Mark Taylor. Already a mess this morning, and we've been tracking issues in the traffic center, not only on South Boulevard, but we'll get you around this first. So as Gina mentioned, it's on South Boulevard as you come off of I-485 and you start heading inbound. The ramp is open, but you can't get much further. So if you're trying to access Pineville Road or Polk, uh, you've got options. Or if you're just trying to get to South Boulevard, you can go 485, take 77 to Arrowwood to South Boulevard, or take 485, bypass South Boulevard, get off at 51 and head to Pineville that way, or just use Park Road as an alternate. There's also an injury crash, came in the last five minutes. So first responders heading right now to North Sheeran Amity at Verndale Road. That's going to be just south of Hickory Grove Road. But the big issue this morning is going to be those wet roadways. And for right now, 77 of the John Belk is clear. But folks, if you are heading out this morning, you will want to take it slow. John, it's 434 and a major problem spot for flooding across Charlotte is always Little Sugar oh, Creek. Yeah, even with just a little bit of rainfall out there, it can flood. Most of us have seen this and the rain has now been coming down for hours. You heard Tony, though, it's not stopping. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Castora is now joining us live from Little Sugar Creek in Midtown. Anthony, what are the conditions right now? Look, we can see it's quite a bit behind you. Yeah, um, so as you mentioned, it's been raining since about midnight and we're already starting to see a lot of the impacts. We are at Little Sugar Creek and I'm standing actually on the pedestrian walkway and you can see that it is uh, completely flooded at this point. I'm going to step out of the way so my photographer can actually look at the water that's just pouring out from the wall over here. This is normally an area where folks would come out and just enjoy maybe a morning walk or maybe a quick bike ride. Today, not so much. If you head out, you're obviously going to need that umbrella. You're going to need a lot of rain gear like I'm wearing at the moment as well. We know that this is an area that they 
the county is looking at right now because this area is so prone to flooding. You can see that the, the water is just coming over uh, from the creek as well. So obviously a lot of rain, Brittany, as you mentioned, there's no signs of stopping at this point. So we expect as the morning continues that this area just will continue to flood. Of course, we'll be out here all morning long. We'll keep you posted on what we see. Back to you guys. Right, Anthony, thank you. This is also, as you can see, a really good time to go ahead Download our WSOC weather app. It is really helpful. And that way, if you have to head out of the door, you can bring our coverage with you. Stay on top of what's happening in your neighborhood. It is free. And of course, we'll be monitoring the conditions for you all throughout the morning. Right.